Well, we have already seen how we can create preferences through preference screen. However, as we are now shifting to fragments, we shall today see how we can show preferences through uh, preference fragments. So to start off the preference fragments, let me first create a simple preference screen. So I'll go to my XML file create a new uh, preference screen uh, for simplicity I'll just add a simple uh, text field to this edit uh, preference so this is my frag pref example so I'll simply add or uh, edit text to this okay and I'll add uh, properties to this I'll say Android key my edit. I can put down a title my preferences. I can put down a summary. Enter values here. So what I've done is I have created a very simple uh, preference screen that has a simple edit text preference file and now I'll create a file to show the preference screen add the resources from this preference screen I'll go to my folder I'll say pref frag example so I'll say this for last it was extending preference activity now it will extend preference fragment so this is the difference in um, both approaches we had preference activity now we have a preference fragment so I'll again use my uh, on create here comes on create and I will say add preferences from resource my resource is r.xml dot frag pref example I'll just clean the project so that it takes off this file yeah. so what we have done we have created a simple preference file I have loaded the preferences from this file through a java class which is preference fragment example and now I'll create a simple layout or I'll uh, have another activity to show this new java class I'll say frag pref show yeah so I'll extend activity and again have on create method on create within this on create I'll simply uh, have a fragment manager get fragment manager and from the fragment manager I'll have fragment transaction I'll just import this fragment manager and then I have transaction and then I can get the help begin transaction and then I can say FT dot replace android dot r dot content id dot content with new pref frag 
So what I have done is I have replaced the content of the screen with the fragment we have created for showing the preference screen and I will commit. So I have created an activity that would bring the frag, uh, fragment preference screen to the uh, picture and now we need to create a layout for bringing this into picture so I'll create another activity fragment main and I need to create a small layout fragment main so within the fragment main I'll simply have a text field where I can show the value of the uh, preference that has been set by the user and I'll have a button and let us have another button to show preferences and another to load preferences so I'll have show fragment and I'll put a method on click android on click show frag and then we can say show values so this will show us the values that the user has entered android on click show val so in my fragment main class I'll say extends activity and I'll again have on create so I'll say set content view r dot layout dot fragment main clean the project so I now need to write both the methods show frag and show values so now for the show fragment method I need to bring my class which is fragment pref show into picture so I'll create an intent i is equal to new intent this frag pref show dot class and I'll start activity with this intent So I got an intent to show the class which shows up the fragment activity and into the show values uh, method I'll obtain a shared preferences object from preference manager dot get default shared preferences context is the current context and I need to get the object of the edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text 1 I hope this is what is the id edit text 1 So I'll get the value uh, for the sp dot get string, and what is my key prefix? My key is my edit. My edit. No value entered is the default value, and I'll say et dot 
set text which is A. Right. So we'll just go through the example again. So first of all, I need to create a simple uh, preference screen. I have done that through my fragment example XML file, which I have created within the XML folder. Now I have a simple edit text, edit text preference within this preference screen. Then I uh, create a preference fragment file, which show, takes up the preferences from this XML file. Then I have a simple activity that brings this fragment to the picture and we have a main file which contains a text field and two buttons. Now on one button click we have showing up the fragment activity and on the second we have to show up the values that have been set up by the user. So I'll just set up the manifest file now. I need to set up the main activity as show frag and I have a sub activity which is another activity I have which is mm -hmm. show frag main mm -hmm. Frag pref show. Frag. So, so I've got most both of my activities in this. I have a let me see my main my main class is frag main. Just check up. Fragment. Hmm. Our main activity is the fragment, and the second activity we have frag pref show. I'll just check up and run my program. system slow down a bit frag main frag pref show so we'll save this and we'll run our project run as android app so just see how much so it is still loading. So you can check up the console. Yeah. So there it comes. We can let's see the preference screen. So here it comes. We can enter a value here. It is fragment. This is what I enter say ok go back to our main activity say show values so this is how it all works instead of taking a fragment uh, sorry preference activity we can take a, a preference fragment and because in further versions we are more shifting towards the uh, fragment side so this is how we can uh, instead of showing a preference activity we can shift to a preference fragment